If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. All right, so Rams Bucks will be the early game on Sunday, right? Speaking of rematches, Rams and Bucks from week three, where LA beat Tampa Bay at SoFi Stadium, but it'll be at Raymond James Stadium this time around. Facts this year. They got the number two offense in points, number two offense in yards, number one offense in passing. Those are facts. Rams, Bucks, what's your initial impression? Do you even care what happened in the first meeting? No, don't care at all. I don't either. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter to me. Remember in that first meeting, there was absolutely no ground game for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and so I would expect that to change. Leonard Fournette was close to playing last week, or just the other day, of course, against the Philadelphia Eagles. They did not have him. They went with the Keyshawn Vaughn. They went with the Giovanni Bernards of the world, and they made it work. I would expect Leonard Fournette to be back. We're going to see about Ronald Jones as the week goes along. Well, look, it's obviously going to be a tough game. I'm with Tampa. I've been with them in the NFC all season. I'm going to stick with them. And here's the thing in the locker room. Come on, man. This man is frustrated with younger players about being satisfied. There ain't no satisfying Tom Brady with eight That's Super Bowls, cool. nine I Super Bowls, it. whatever it is. He's going to drive. And listen, that, for that offensive line is going to stay together, which is going to be vital for their success and their future. They'll get four net back. We'll have, they'll have some different things like this. But they will retool. That's the thing about having Tom Brady. Everybody, you're talking about everybody else getting better. They will get better as well. If you don't think Bruce Arians is going to go bring in more receivers to help him, Godwin's going to come back from his injury. They're going to tool. They will make adjustments. He understands how to win with Tom Brady. Well, I mean, because Brady, one would think, would exploit the depth problems the Rams have at safety in a way that the the Cardinals didn't even uh, you know attempt it seemed yesterday or weren't able to pull off right I mean how about that as a problem like ha giving 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 Gronk and Brait and Howard a try in between the the hashes over and over and over again so I put him at number two ahead of Rodgers and ahead of Mahomes but I couldn't put him ahead number one of Tom Brady I just couldn't do it because I am less confident that Brady's team is going to win. I am less confident that his offensive line is going to hold up against the Rams. I am nowhere near number one confident in Tampa. But I am number one confident that if they don't win, it will not be because of Brady. I am thoroughly confident that Brady will play great. His team has dropped like flies around him. And all he has done is continue to play great and find ways to do it. The thing is, even though this year they didn't beat many good teams, they have that history just going back to last year. So they know they of can course. do it, and they've proven they can beat good teams. And I thought their defense looked much improved uh, on Sunday uh, against Philadelphia. I get it. It was Philadelphia. But having all the guys, Shaq Bear, JPP, all these guys back, I thought they looked much better, much fresher, and much tougher on the defensive side of the ball this guy's play has not dropped off no, even a little bit. Even no, a little has. bit. So it I has. did not expect it to all of a sudden tank. This do, and listen, no, me neither. This is the most driven player in NFL that's, history, that's man. Cool. Like I this get cat it. puts the be, he, I get he gets it. the best out of his guys. Okay. So the, is the Super Bowl a team goal or a, he's going to get the guys around him to play better, Key? Come on, yeah, man. Buddy. And whether it's Gronk or whether it's Scotty Miller or whether it's whoever – Cameron Brait, whoever the hell it is, he needs to find. He does it. I don't expect this to be the same game. I expect this to be a little bit more of a defensive battle. Certainly feel a lot better about calling this a defensive battle based off of the most recent games these two teams have played. When you look at Todd Bowles' defense and how they took care of the Philadelphia Eagles in the wild card round and only allowing some junk yards and points. Tom Brady, I'm looking at him. 67.5% completion percentage. 5,316 yes. yards, a career high. Well, how, well, 40, how many is that? Uh, how many is that? 5,300. Okay, 5, right. 5, hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. 43 touchdowns, oh, okay. 16 interceptions. And oh, by the way, excuse me. Um, what does that have we, to do hold with hold the Super Bowl? Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. You said you think. That is not fact when you say you think the Rams are going to beat them. That is not a fact. That is speculative. The Cowboys are going to get better. Not, put it this way, way Stephen A. Yeah. That is put it this way. Cam, I want to throw this at you. Because Nick brought up the Rams, and the Rams beat Tampa Bay this year in the regular season. You guys have owned Tom Brady and the Buccaneers in the regular season. And last year, 
he didn't play well against you. I think he had five interceptions in the two games in the regular season against you guys. But then in the playoff, he had two touchdowns, no interceptions. Did you see a difference in Brady in the playoffs versus in the regular season? And what do you think that if so, what does that mean for the Rams coming up this weekend? No, I think I think Tom is always exactly who he's been. He's he's a model of consistency. I think over his career, you would not find too many chinks in that armor. I do think that you know the one time we did lose to Tampa, we ended up throwing what was that four four turnovers, four interceptions. It was it was one, yeah. one, the game yeah. that it a takes a lot to win after that. Um, and you know when we think about a team game, I just think that Tom Brady, it's it's hard it's hard to go against him. I do think it's going to come down to. Uh, a battle of who's pressured more. I think Shaq Barrett, I think Vitavea, I think Adam Kinsu is a formidable D-line front. The question is, is has Tom Brady lost his – or won his last Super Bowl? The answer is absolutely not. And listen, it might be this year if they can get some dudes healthy this year. They don't and win this year, they might come back next year. May come back. But to Stephen A's point, 5,300 yards – 5,300 yards. The mo- listen, the most completion on the the 5, most is not even there. in NFL history. I think at some point McVay will put the, uh, the game in uh, Stafford's hands, and I have no confidence in him. I will tell you the truth. When, and Hembo was standing there. We first put together this list. I go into the Google Doc, and I type in 8765-4321, and then I start putting in names. And what did I originally put next to eight? Matthew Stafford? I did. I put Stafford next to eight. And then Hembo said to me, Behind Garoppolo? And I said, hold on. <laughs> hold everything. <laughs> I'm changing that up. So, Nuno, I don't disagree with what you're saying. And then, of course, uh, when you look at the wide receiving options, uh, there's obviously no Chris Godwin, but Antonio Brown didn't play in that game either. Mike Evans had a big day, eight catches for 106 yards. Tom Brady had a big day in the air for 55 attempts. And here's the part. When you ask if it's his last one, what you're basically saying is he's not good enough. Because the defense at will stay together. If Todd Bowles stays Jeff. there, that thing will get there at, four, at 44. Absolutely. So this is why I'm nervous if as, a, as throwing my loyalty behind Tom Brady. No Chris Godwin? Okay, <clears throat> next man up. No AB? Okay, next man up. Now Bruce Arians is saying Wirfs and Ryan Jensen – Game time decisions. And the funny thing about the Wirfs thing, Cam, when you're watching the Eagles game, Wirfs obviously couldn't go. And he was trying to get back in the game, and he's on one leg. Like, cold, like it was pretty obvious that he couldn't go. At what point do you think there's just not enough, I don't know, depth of the Bucks where they are vulnerable to just being taken out by the Rams? Uh, I'd only simply say two things. One, Tom Brady. Two, right tackle, which means he's in the vision of Tom Brady. I mean, it's not like he's he's not like he's coming off the left edge where he's got a blind spot to him. At rushing on rushing on the left versus a right tackle, you're in the vision of a quarterback the whole time. So that's something that he can overcome. Again, Tom Brady, and gotcha. to, mm. it's sort of hard to better mm. the house. All right, I'm seeing early numbers of the Bucks favored by three. Three. I thought it'd be more. Mm. Making a case for the Rams to win this thing. What's your initial first just Gut visceral reaction. Mine would be Bucks. Our analytics say the Bucks are going to win the Super Bowl. Vegas. I don't care about that no it's damn the no analytics. And I personally think Tom Brady is the J-Lo of sports, so he just keeps getting better and better. So I don't really <laughs> want to hear it, Keyshawn, because he's better oh, 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 at whatever oh, oh, oh. age whoa, whoa, whoa. than he was at 30, whoa. just like whoa, whoa. Jennifer Lopez. Whoa. That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day, so please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day. Thank you.